Has there ever been a time when you had something given to you or you decided to do that you really weren't sure how to do it? Maybe your boss came to you and said, you know, Lee, I think you could do this real well. Why don't you try this? And you bit it off and you said yes. Today, I'm going to be giving you a generic presentation. It's not going to be strictly centered around Toastmasters. This has to do with giving an online ceremony. And there's a lot of organizations that do ceremonies and there's different size ceremonies. There's even people that get married online at ceremony. First of all, I wanna tell you, this is something that you can't be pensive about and enter into. If you're going to do it, you gotta jump in with both feet. You gotta fully commit to it. I did, but then I said to myself, what is this thing really supposed to look like? I don't know what you would do, but I spent a lot of time on YouTube. You can go on YouTube and find out how to tie your shoes. I had a gift given to me, a coffee grinder. I didn't know exactly how to use it. I went on YouTube and found out how to use it. There's, YouTube is the thing for information in the, in the internet of things. So I started looking at different presentations on YouTube. For my presentation, I was giving one for distinguished Toastmasters. Now, if you're doing one for something else, I'm sure you'll find it on there. And you're, you're probably gonna find more Rotary or Kiwanis or Lions ceremonies, award ceremonies, or even graduation ceremonies online. So this is kind of a niche ceremony. One of the things you could ask yourself, if you go on there and you can't find it, well, what should it look like? I, I, I'm not sure what it should look like. So one of the things you could do, and I spent many, many hours watching different online ceremonies, you can cherry pick the pieces you like. You can get on this one over here and say, you know, I like the way they did the different people. And I like, on this one, I like the way the music went. And on this one, I like the flow between the, the presentations. So there's a, there's a number of ways to do online ceremonies. And one of the ways that I've seen done is static. And that's just where they take a PowerPoint demonstration and every five or 10 seconds, the slide progresses. And you see the next slide. And I kind of decided I really didn't like that kind of a ceremony. And then you see other ceremonies where they're all dynamic, where all you see is people moving around and people talking. And I, I got thinking to myself, I have over 40 people that I've got to get organized. And I don't think I'm going to be able to film them doing that because I, I can't do this in person. So some of this is going to have to be static. Some of it's going to have to be right there. It's just a picture on a PowerPoint. But I also, in my presentation, saw the possibility of having certain people at various parts of it give input. So you could have a video, some PowerPoint slides, a video, some PowerPoint slides, a video. And it, to me, that just felt more uh, generic. It felt more like it was more alive. Some of the things they do on YouTube and even if you listen to some of the presenters, I really don't like it because they got the music cranked way up and you can hardly hear them. And a lot of professional people do this. They think the music is a great thing. Well, I think music is a great thing too, but I think it needs to be low. If you're doing a ceremony, you need to be concentrating on the screen. So I pretty much decided I wanted to do a hybrid ceremony and I wanted to get different elements in it. In my brain, I had a vision. That's great, but what can I do? Well, one of the things I can do is I can do PowerPoint. I didn't do phenomenal PowerPoint, but I can do PowerPoint. And I can do images. I've been playing around with Photoshop for a long time. And I can do sound. The problem is, when it came to doing backgrounds, like what we have behind us and what were on some of those slides, 
my brain was at a standstill. So I thought to myself, I need to find somebody that is creative that can help me with backgrounds. I found a couple of people to help me. That was really good because ultimately, these people that helped me, we came up with various backgrounds that we presented to the overall officials and said, which one of these do you like? Which of these musics do you like? What if it makes sense to you? So I was very lucky in that aspect is that I found some people that were really creative. They could do, they could do some really nice designs, some really nice PowerPoints. I was lucky enough to find music that was copyrighted on YouTube, it was not copywritten, that was free. And then everybody voted on it and said, well, we like that music. So that saved us money. If you're on a budget, there's music you can get that doesn't cost a lot of money. <clears throat> so now I have an idea in my head. I have people to help me design it. The problem is I got 40 people and I know it's like herding cats to get these people to respond from past, past incidents I've had dealing with them. So I had somebody that was in charge of making sure that I had a response from these people that I could put their information on the screen. Some of them took six emails. Some of them didn't listen to what I asked for. Some of them, I was gonna have 10 seconds a slide and I had people put in book reports. So my point of this all is, you can decide that you're gonna have an online ceremony of some type. You might be adept enough to do every aspect of it. But if there's a lot of people involved, there needs to be more than you involved. There needs to be some other people to help you. I was making changes to the final video one hour before the presentation was due, only to find out that some of it was wrong because the people didn't check the information that they sent in. These are the kind of things you're gonna run into. And guess what? They don't wanna hear it when you mess up. The only one thing they wanna hear is you can fix it. I'm telling you some of the nightmares that I've had, but I gotta tell you in such a nice way that I don't want you to run from, from this. If somebody offers you the opportunity to do some kind of online presentation, don't be afraid. Say, I can do that because Believe it or not, in the network that we have, there's enough people out there that we could go and find somebody to help us. But you need to be creative, you need to be open-minded, you need to be thick-skinned because people are gonna say, boy, that thing you designed was really bad. We didn't like that at all. But you can do this and it can be done almost professional level for free. You just have to have it in mindset that I want to do this, I may not know what it looks like, but I have enough friends and acquaintances around me that I think, I think we can do this. So having said that, I have just given you my thought process on what it would look like to do an online ceremony, award ceremony. You have to find out what kind of venue you want, how you want it to look, what you can do, what you can't do, and incorporate that in your video. Because that's how we communicate these days. As I said at the beginning, this is part one of the speech. The second part of the speech is the final part where I really get into what happened. So at this time, I would like to thank you for your attention and ask you not to be afraid if somebody comes and said to you, could, could you do this? You can say, yes, I can. Because you know, you really need to step out there and try it because you will learn so much. You will learn so much by doing this that you will really be short-sighting yourself if you don't. Having said that, how many of you wanna do 
an online presentation ceremony for our change of command. I don't see any hands. Item toast.